What's up, Fighter Crew? Back to the channel. All right, and this is Nick. What up? All right, guys. So I'm bringing another new person to the channel, and I am on a roll now because I've brought two people back to back. He's That's on a new, roll, Charlie. That's right. I'm used to doing everybody we've done, but you know we got to bring somebody new. We're well, doing. Welcome to my world. <laughs> well, you know, somebody's got to be different on here, all right? Oh. <laughs> so we're doing Suzanne Vega. Oh, it's one of those names. It just it just sounds like. That has to be somebody famous. It has to be. Especially the Vega. Viva Las Vegas. Mm. Uh, she is an American sing songwriter, best known for her folk-inspired music. She is from New York City. Oh. At the age of nine, she began writing poetry. She was encouraged to do so by her dad. And it took her three years to write her first song. Wow. Well, I wasn't going to say that uh, I was surprised, but I'm not surprised at all, actually. <laughs> <Okay>. So, <laughs> you know, the most important artistic influences of her work comes from Lou Reed, Bob Dylan, and Leonard Cohen. Mm -hmm. Some of the other important artists that she's also followed is Paul Simon and Laura Nyro. Okay. So some a lot of uh, famous people she uh, likes and uh, follows. So I'm, in I'm intrigued. Yeah. Uh, the song we are doing today is called Luca. And no, not Luca Doncic. And no, not the Disney movie, Luca. Oh. It's the song. And the song was first. Uh, that's right. Yeah. So have you heard it? No, because I don't even know who Suzanne Vega was. <laughs> so this is new to me. Yeah, it's new to me as well. I've never heard it. Um, it's off our second studio album called Solitude Standing. Mm. And it was released in 1987, and it went platinum. So you know what that means. Nothing, it just went platinum. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so let's do this. This is Suzanne Vega. Luca. this week <sighs> we've just uh we've hmm. been all over the place yeah i know yeah this is the complete opposite of the last song yeah how about that yeah <laughs> yeah yeah nothing close <laughs> 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 nothing close <laughs> it kind of sounds like a song that um like a like your crush would write for you school girl crush type of thing yeah yeah sounds like to me yeah um it's like she was talking to me. You know, I was just like, who are you? <laughs> she definitely has more of a, a youthful mm -hmm. vocal. You know, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of why people like, um, like, it, like you guys have, for example, like why I, I don't really care for Justin Bieber. And, uh, like, I, I know you guys like a lot of, uh, you know, the grooves and beats in his song. And I know you guys like his, his vocals and all that, mm -hmm. but I, I just never liked him because he just has too much of a youthful vocal to me. Mm -hmm. You know, it sounds just, like he's a child. Yeah, I mean, no offense, but that's 
you know, that's just what my ears catch. Right. Um, so a vocal like that, you know, even in this song, it's it's kind of like in that lane. I don't like know. PG or G? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, it's just, it's a little too soft and cuddly. Uh, you know what I mean? Okay. It's, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not really about that. Yeah. I mean, she does have a good vocal, though. Mm-hmm. You can tell. Yeah, you yeah. You can tell. Like that, that kind of indie, mm-hmm. other side type of thing. So I kind of knew it would be in that lane. I try not to act too proud. Only hit till you cry. After that, you don't ask why. You just don't. I mean, I can tell that this is obviously a talented person. Mm-hmm. Um, I couldn't do that in a million years. Th- this whole song, I was just kind of like thinking like, man, I just I just really don't care for this vocal. You know, it's just kind of a, again, just a whole hum. <clears throat> you Sorry. know, it just kind of feels like a, a young person's voice. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. And, uh, you know, it just, I'm not saying it makes it like any less serious. Like, obviously, this still tells a great story and all that. But um, I don't know. There's just something about it that it it just makes it hit in a different way. You know, it's just not really there for me. Um, but it is kind of – it's kind of gloomy. It's kind of sad, kind of hopeful. You know, it. I can tell, like, th- this is a, a good song. If you kind of like those moody 80s type of things, like, you you could like this. It almost, it almost uh, is goth at times as well. So if you're into that like rainy day type of music, you might like this song. But uh this one's just uh it's just kind of a big man for me. You know, again, talented vocalist, but I think outside of that just not much happening here for me. Yeah, I I'm not big I'm not that big on it. I do like her voice. She kinda of reminds me of Taylor Swift a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, that yeah. it's like it's like Taylor Swift before Taylor Swift. Yes. You know? Yeah. Um which is uh Kind of surprising. Like, I, I never really thought who, like, she modeled her voice after. Yeah. Or who, you know, it was similar to. Never thought about that before. Yeah. It And, like, so the song, though, is actually really sad. Yeah. 
It's yeah. about her being abused. Yeah. And like she's actually talking to like she's like in a little kid, like she's acting like a little kid. Yeah, I was about so to say kinda maybe makes, that's why that's it kinda why, makes why yeah. the, the the her voice kind of fits the song a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And then she's telling the other kid that like, Don't worry, I'll be okay. Like, don't ask me anything. Like, just yeah. know that Yes, you know what's going on, so don't ask me because you know exactly what's going on. Exactly. It's yeah. kind of like don't repeat what you already know. Yeah. It's kind of annoying, you know? Yeah. But it's like but it kind of falls under that goth kind of, you know, in that area, sadness of, um, like I said, I think this appeals to, well, I guess anybody that's been abused. Yeah. Sad, sadly. Yes. But, you know, but it's actually, you know, but the, but the song, though, is way more happy. Happy like the sounding. Way, yeah, happy sounding. Yeah. Than what the, so it's one of those songs that's like, it sounds happy. I'm okay, but, but I'm I'm really not okay. Exactly. Like, you know. Yeah. It's kind of like she's saying, don't worry, I'm a strong girl. I can handle myself. Because yeah. she's like, I'd rather be alone. You know, I don't want, I'd rather not anybody be around. And, you know, I'd rather just handle it on my own. And, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of sad. But, yeah, I mean, this, yeah, this kind of like, like she has a good voice. Don't get me wrong. I kind of would like to see her more grown. Let's see if it's the, if it sounds the same. Because you could tell us this is early. It's only her second album. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's been writing since she was 14. I mean, mm-hmm. Jesus. So, I mean, it's really early. I like to see her maybe more grown. Maybe if it's, she has like a different sound or something. Yeah, but for me, it probably wouldn't go playlist. I do enjoy it. It's a good, easy song to listen to. But um, Yeah, it would be fun like if I heard it like in a... Like a coffee shop or something. Yeah, like in a store or something. It'd be all right. It's like, oh, okay, that yeah, that song's it's all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm on. I'm in the. I'm in the same boat. I don't mind the kids sound because obviously I like New Edition when they were little and like you know I like Michael Jackson when they were little. I like their songs, even though they sound like kids. Yeah, but those like, are with groove though. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's kind of different. Yeah, yeah right. Because you can actually groove to it without you mm-hmm. know. But like yeah, so like yeah, so that, that kind of like takes away from me as well a little bit. But I do enjoy like her like her vocals because she does have a good you know vocals. It looks like she's probably in her teens, still like yeah. probably seventeen maybe. Yeah, th- yeah, that that is you know? so- that is something I have to consider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's a, it's a it's an okay song. It's not nothing crazy or anything. But yeah, it, it won't make playlists. But I did enjoy it though. It wasn't you know it wasn't bad. I did like the like I said I did like the the guitar she was playing. That was kind of cool. I liked that and stuff. And I actually kind of enjoyed the visuals. You know what the visuals they were using? Oh, you're talking about uh, Take On Me. Yeah. yeah. They were using the same visuals. Hey, we, need, a, we need to do that song. I know. I don't With know why video. we haven't done it yet. <laughs> I was kind of save it for our uh, One Hit Wonder I'm marathon. not sure if I've seen that whole video. Really? Yeah, not from start to finish, no. Oh, wow. I've seen it a thousand times. <laughs> okay. I've actually just looked it up just to watch it because I see, obviously, Family Guys when I first heard it. Yeah. And I was like, I need to see yeah, that I music was, video. Yeah, I was thinking that too, though, the the, the painting, yeah, yeah, the drawing. I like that little visual. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so again, this again, if you're into that moody type of sound, um, this, this is right up your alley if you're very uh, one of those, those sad people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I, I get it. Obviously, I consider her age. It's like a lot of you guys are probably like, "What do you expect?" Like <laughs> it's her age. Yeah, I understand it, but it doesn't make like how it sounds any yeah, less exactly. true. So yeah, let us know if she has any better song. Let us know if this is like her actual style. Yeah, because I I, I doubt it. I think they actually did a good job like nailing the theme mm-hmm. on this. So it is it is well written. Just let us know what else she has to offer. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, and as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.